Yo, peace and love, everybody. I'm back again. This is actually the same day of the filming of the Fog video, so your boy's working, trying to get these reviews out of the way, but you know I cannot continue the video without thanking you guys first, all the existing subscribers, potential subscribers, and just so you know, as always, I gotta go back to saying this, this video is 100% for educational purposes, so let's not get that twisted. I don't condone the resale or selling of UA replica sneakers, but we will compare three pairs of AJ1 Travis Scott's today. We're going to have them black lighted or black lit, whatever you want to say. And then I'll attempt to do an on feed towards the end. It's kind of hard because I've, I've wore this shoe and on feeded it, on footed it a few other times. But hey, I can't be mad at gifts. So let's go ahead and open this box. I have never got a box with that corner piece right there intact. It's always been split. But you know what the saying is, we don't wear it, especially the box top. We definitely don't wear that part. But here's a look at the box. I'm going to try to make this as quick and smooth as possible because when you start doing comparisons, it, it drags the video. But that's the box. Okay, here we go again. The most hype, in my opinion, because I get the most questions about this shoe on a daily. The most hype sneaker, Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1. Mocha, I think they call it Mocha. I'm not sure, but... First thing I check is the transitional suede on them, and it was aight. I'm gonna come back to that, but let's just get through the box contents really fast. They gave me some masks, so shout out to you guys for the masks. Those are still needed. The paper felt kind of waxy, not really paperish. Not really sure which is more authentic, the waxy or the paper feeling, but you know. All right, let's just do a quick overview before I get into the comparisons with the other two pairs of sneakers. And I'm not going to mention the names of the other two companies in this video. I don't want to, you know, mix gifts together or disparage another company by going through the details. So if you do have any questions for me, reach out to me at Colo Culture and we can discuss things, you know, and go from there. But so here's the uh, the back of it. And you can tell from this close up, there's some transitional suede like that really bothers me when this shoe you know, Nailman had a sneaker. Um, I can't remember the company, but transitional suede was not there. So we got a little bit of transitional suede there. You know, I got to mess with it, you know. They come with all the laces that you get. I think that's the brown, white, pink, red. So for this one, I'll probably do red. Look at the little Nike check there. Around that's supposed to look like that, I believe. It looks a little shiny or sticky, but, you know, they're fresh from the factory. Okay, this bothered me a little bit. How easily you can see the tag right there. That's a no-no. Eh, that's just not good. It's not supposed to be that easy if there is a tag. And this tag doesn't make your shoe authentic or retail. It was kind of hit or miss. Let's go ahead and poke on that toe box a little bit. You guys be the judge. We got the big swoosh close up. Huh? What do you think? Quick look at the wings. How's that? How's that look, guys? You be the judge. I'm going to let you guys tell me this time. I don't know. Uh, another transitional suede test. I think I'm addicted to doing that. And you got the Travis Scott on the inside. We got a 9.5 this time. We're going to see how a 9.5 does. Just want to show you guys both tongues have the very, very, very visible code. I don't like that. Okay, let's lay out our contestants right there. That's the recent gifted pair I've got. That is from a company, you guys know who that came from. And the third contestant, um, this is um, a pair that is the very, very first pair I received. Again, I'm not gonna bring the companies up, but if you follow me, you will know which sneakers these were because of the laces color. Three of them look like they have that sail colorway down. That looks exact. The one on the far right might be a little lighter, but I, I don't know. Here's a look at the back of them. The one on the left is the recent pair. Does it have the hourglass shape? Um, sort of. It's a little unfair because the shoe doesn't have any laces in it. But you be the judge. Here is the Cactus Jack face. On the left, we have the recent pair. On the right, we have, I'll just call it my OG pair. 
So to be the judge, let's go ahead and get the the uh, the one on the right. We'll just call that the pricey pair. So the pricey pair. Look at that suede transition all over the place. You know, these don't get me wrong. These look good. Like I would definitely rock these. I may not keep them, but I'll definitely. Here I go again. Let me, let me keep. Let me just move on. All right. Quick look at the medial side. We have the recent pair on the top, which I just put down. But let's just move on to the toe boxes. I'm actually zoomed in on my camera. I've never used it like this, but I want you guys to see the toe box in detail. Look at the colors of the suede, the mocha. How oh, does that? number under there again see what look at the the middle pair the og pair you can barely see the code and it's only on one shoe that left shoe look at how you can see the code on the recent pair and then on the pricey pair it might not even be there it is there okay good so uh, what do you guys think big swish from the og have a look see there here's the pricey one that one's a little flatter and this is the recent pair, Tops Factory. I mean, not bad. That that Nike check, not the best, but not bad. Nike check from OG. Just a quick look there. Quick look at the prices check. That one, I ain't gonna lie, that one's pretty on point. Pun intended. Here's the Cactus Jack patch, and that looks a little, looks okay. Here's the thing, like when one thing's off about a shoe, then it's like everything else see that i don't know everything else kind of makes you second guess once you find one thing like after i seen that little tag behind the tags i was like i don't know all right black light time and you can tell the recents all the way to the left let's take a look at that Ooh, oh boy there's things i've never seen on this things that are just jumping out like look at those look at those stitching lines I mean, granted, this is stuff you're not going to see in the daytime when you're wearing them, but hey, it's worth pointing out. It's so hard doing this too, by the way. I'm not sure about this new black light either. And there's the toe box. No ink stain. Ooh. It's like, it's like there was lights behind the shoe or something, like Christmas lights behind there. I don't know. But man, I've, I've just never seen anything light up like that. Huh? Some, some things on the tongue there. See so the black light don't lie. All right, all right. Here's the second shoe of the recent pair, and oh boy, got a little bit of drip on the toe right there. Okay, around that toe box, some inconsistencies. So I guess it's safe to say these were not stitched the best. A little bit of crumbs on them. That's okay. We can wipe the crumbs off. Some inconsistencies there, like that chalk marker or whatever they're using to mark things it's there i'm gonna get better at this black light oh my goodness there's christmas lights behind that thing again and you know I'm, I'm not trying to make these sound terrible because i think it's a little you know it's it's not really necessary to just slam a company for a sneaker it does it's not that serious but when there are some things to point out i'm gonna point them out okay yeah so that's that that's them guys Let's, let's have a look at the pricey just to make sure, you know, we're seeing what we're seeing. And I don't see the same marks and stitching inconsistencies. There's a little smidge of that ink on the sole, which is supposed to be there. And a little, oh, what is that? Here's the OG. One of my favorite sneakers ever. And don't see anything that's jumping out as far as the stitching or... uh any inconsistencies that way. No ink mark though, but that's okay. All right, so let's just go on to the on feed and we'll wrap this video up.
Okay, looks like I ended up at the bus stop again, and I don't know why I like to go down to the bus stop. Probably because there's moving cars and moving things, and that always looks dope on film, but I gotta stop doing this. Like, anytime I'm trying to, just trying to get a video out and quick, I go down to the bus stop. Um, but today I learned my lesson because the bus stop person came again, the bus driver came again, I had to get out of there, and yeah. I don't want him to stop on me. It looks like he's about to stop for me, but he's not. Someone does pop out the back. You might be able to catch it. Uh, sort of. So I went down the street. I just picked another place. I used to be able to go to this school as well, but they shut this down because they're going to tear the school down and rebuild it. So that's another one of my spots that's extinct. So I just pulled right up here on the sidewalk and let you guys see how these look. And I mean, come on now. They, they look dope. Like, right now, they're looking pretty fly. Like, the red laces, the mocha's hitting right now, and that, you know what I'm saying, the sunset kind of thing going on. They're, they're, they're looking pretty good. I can't lie. Like, again, walking around in these, they're going to look dope. So, again, shout out to Tops Factory for doing these. These look amazing on foot. If they don't look amazing on foot, tell me. Because, I mean, on foot and in hand are two different worlds. That's two different levels of analysis when you have something in your hands and you're going over all the details, but... That's pretty much it for the video, guys. I'm actually surprised I even got this one cut and edited and uploaded for you, you know? But I do this for you guys, so you know what you can do for me. Peace out. Subscribe. Much love. Thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one. You know there's plenty more. I'm trying not to overwork myself, but peace, family. You know I love y'all. One. One.